Lozenge. Okay. Okay, so I'm here with Richard Asquith, who's author of Feet in the Clouds. Um, thanks very much for talking to us now, Richard. Um, we've got an exclusive interview with him. Uh, there's some questions from trail running readers. First of all, Martin Stacey on the Facebook page says, Are you still running? I'm still running, yeah. I don't get up to the mountains quite as much as I'd like, but I still run every day, mainly in Northamptonshire fields and things like that. So, yeah, getting a bit slower, I suspect. But <laughs> I tend not to time myself anymore. I yeah. just enjoy it instead. Brilliant. Um, and Sean Gavin says, first of all, what an inspirational book. It introduced him to fell running in North Wales, which is wonderful. Yeah. Um, he says, what do you think of minimalist shoes? Do you think they're good science or a marketing ploy? Minimalist as in the barefoot ones? Yeah. I, I love them. That's what I use all the, pretty much for everything. I find them, you can't really use them for steep, wet mountains because um, you just haven't got the grip. Um, but for everything else, I run, I've been running them for a few years. I think they're fabulous. I used to, I get far fewer, sort of far less pain in the, in the lower back and the thighs and things like that than I used to. And I just find it, it just feels nice. I just love the way that you run and feel the ground underneath your feet and everything like that. So I'm, I'm all in favour of myself. Great. And also, he says, would you consider the Dragon's Back Race or a 100 mile ultra? I would not, because uh, people were urging me to do that, because they re ran the Dragon's Back Race um, a, few, yeah. a few weeks ago. and um, I wrote about it for my newspaper, The Independent, and some people were suggesting I should enter it as well. I mean, <laughs> no, no way. Um, no, if I, if I had the time, it would be quite nice to do something like that in, in some ways, but um, I think I would be particularly bad with Dragon's, Dragon's Back, so I'm not, not really a very reliable navigator, and something like that is, you really have to be a very confident navigator to stand any chance of not falling hours behind, because there's so much volunteering to do. But who knows, nothing's possible, I'm still young. Um, then we have Benjamin Buckle. Uh, oh, he just says, no questions, but the wife blames you for running miles and marathons, for him running miles and marathons. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry Benjamin's wife. Yeah. Uh, James Lavin says, what's your favourite recovery food after a long run? After a long run? Oh, that's a good question. Cake, I think it's got to be cake <laughs> of some sort. Um, Favourite one? I was cherry cake is a good, reliable one. I used to find that quite good for eating wild felt, you know, in between as well. Um, mm. And the fact, I used to quite often sort of run with cake in my bum bag or whatever, and you take it out and it would just be <laughs> crumbs, just crumbs and stuff. But it was still <laughs> worth it, especially if we had cherries. Um, then we have one from Andrew Davies. The best advice for a newcomer to trail running? Really, I mean, yeah, don't, on the one hand, don't underestimate what you're doing. You know, always be sensible about the outdoors, think about you know, what the dangers you're exposing to at various different levels. I mean, tra you know, tra basic trail running isn't very tough, but you know, expect it to be rough. And on the other hand, don't underestimate yourself. I think you know, a lot of us get um, pressurised into thinking that we can't do anything unless it's the absolute standard, you know, running in the approved places and the approved organised races and things like that. And really. You know, running is the most natural thing in the world, and you know, we should treat it like that. So just give it a go. Give it a go, exactly, yeah. Um, so Tony, Tony Sutton, Shenton sorry, says, lovely interview and great book. Um, do you still wear Walsh's? Um, I was asked that earlier, sometimes. Um, as I said, I do most of my running barefoot. I've got a pair of, actually I've got probably two pairs of Walsh's. I've also got a pair of Innovate ones, um, which is a supposedly barefoot related, I can't remember what they're called, but they're meant to be places to barefoot running. But to be honest, as I, as I said earlier, I think I've never really had any problems with fell running shoes, all the problems have been with the person wearing them. <laughs> um, and Rob Prouton says, um, do you think trail marathons should be part of the Olympics? I think, it, I thought it was a shame that they didn't have any not necessarily trail, trail marathons, but fell running of some sort, we don't have any of that in the Olympics. But at the same time, one of the things I like about fell running and off-road running generally is it, it has managed to stay fairly clear of that whole commercial thing and the win-at-all-cost things. You know, the Olympics, great though they, they were, it's partly still very much to do with sponsors and the idea that you can't succeed unless you've got the right equipment and everything like that. And the, 
winning and results and medals of the earnings that count. I quite like the idea that there's an alternative kind of sport, an alternative kind of running, which just involves getting away from it all, enjoying the scenery and the landscape, and um, you know, it's not about medals really. So that's true. Um, Tim Aldred then says, "Are you going to write another book?" Um, maybe. I'm trying to write a book at the moment. I've only just started, which is, I suppose, looking at that very last question of, of um. Do, do we get too fixated in our running on the whole idea of, of, of buying the equipment, running in the approved races, um, following the, the herd, being very conventional, and are we just being blinded to a whole different kind of running, which is about not about results, not about records, it's just about looking outwards and, and enjoying the wonderful scenery and things like that. So I'm wondering if I can get the book out of that, um, it's a bit early to... Mm -hmm. Have you got a working title? A working title is Running Free. Running Free? Isn't there already a book called Running Free? If there is, then... Well, I seven might boards, be oh yeah, maybe, maybe not. not. <laughs> maybe not. I mean, there's lots of different running titles anyway, so yeah. it's some early it's, days. Yeah, but. maybe it's an app that I found. <laughs> maybe it's an app yeah. already, right. Oh, well, best of luck. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> best of luck with writing the book. Thank you very um, much. And, uh, yeah, let us know when it's out, and um, we'll give it a read. Thank you very much. Thanks well. for your questions on Facebook, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>